Hey, as you guys know, I do like to challenge myself. So I thought for this video, I'm gonna take one of my girlfriend's amigurumi things and I am going to turn it into my drawings. Oh, this is the wrong box. Now I have more to choose from. As you can see, I have a, a nice selection of derpy little animals that I like a lot. So next I'm going to go to Instagram and have a poll to see what the people of Instagram want me to draw out of the selection. No. As you can see, I have a very cute selection of derpy, adorable little things. Next, I'm going to go to Instagram where I'm gonna have a poll and let the people decide which one of these I will draw. And we have the results to our Instagram poll. Super high technology, as you can see. Uh, we had two votes for Panda, three votes for Octopus, and nine votes for the Frog. And one vote for the Cockatrice. And my girlfriend drew a cock. And this little fella one, uh, which is based on a pattern from the book Pika Pau by Jan Schenkel. Hi there! As you can see, I'm tucked up in my heating blanket. And I thought first, let's take a look at this inspiration board or mood board that I put together for myself. A couple of character artists that I like, that I like their styles, as you can see here. Uh, I want to stick close to something this or this mood wise. I want that anime sunny feel to it uh, and that's why I have these things as well so maybe a warmer sunset or sunrise or midday I, I really like this midday so I will probably steal the colors from this one and then I also looked at a uh, couple of Vespas because I haven't talked about it but I want to take this cute little frog and I want to put it either on a Vespa or a moped, probably moped, and just riding down the Italian Riviera, which is a French word, so it's not... A... Anyways, I want to draw a nice uh, illustration where this little fella is going to the beach to have fun with, in the water. And with that, we can jump straight into the drawing and sketching process. And this was supposed to be a nicely scripted out video, so I wanted to write a nice script, but somehow everything went sideways and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later but as you can see here is the sketch that I was thinking of doing with the frog so just super happy on a sort of a moped riding down the, the seaside shore road uh, holding on to a hat that is flying out of his hand like super happy uh, my girlfriend suggested to put uh, some sort of animal in a, in a crate and I went well I think we decided together to go with a cat uh, and uh, you don't see that here, but I did add uh, a couple of cat pictures to uh, my, uh, what is it called? Pure Ref uh, little folder. So I was using those to really try and copy it. And because I can't draw cute stuff, I was trying to make its mouth flabby flabby in the air from all the, all the air that's going on there. But it was just horrible looking, so I decided against it in the end. But I really liked how like the whole idea was coming together. And this this is just talking a little bit about the, the end result is what I have usually is that I have a sketch that I really like, but I can't really take it to the version that I have in my head. And that's sort of what happened here as well. Uh, for some reason, I decided to uh, go with my sketchy brush, which sometimes I use this as the final line sketch in, in my drawings, just because it really gives me this industrial designery look. Uh, and I think I could have easily stuck with this. I, I don't see why I, I didn't stick with it. Uh, but in the end, uh, this was still the state as an underlay sketch as well, because I moved on to my Hudson Rio brush, which I usually use in, uh, in Sketchbook a lot to do uh, these types um, of drawings. So that's, that's what happened here. I think uh, the point where I realized it's just going to stay an underlay sketch is when, when you can see that I didn't draw the hand and the leg that are sort of hidden or obstructed by the, mot by the motorbike. And because, as most of you know, I am an industrial designer and that is my comfort zone, uh, I quickly wanted to jump onto the motorbike and I was having fun detailing out and doing all my straight lines because... Uh, it's just when, when I'm drawing something like that's an illustration and I'm just not used to drawing illustrations, I do like to do something that is more 
in uh, in my comfort zone. So I, I do like to have one piece in there that is more technical, that is more in the vein of what I like to draw, because then at least I can jump back and forth and back and forth between uh, elements that I really like and elements that I still like. They're just uh, might be a bit, uh, a bit very challenging for me. So that's, that's why I, I jumped on this uh, bike relatively fast. And I, I think because it was going well, uh, I also decided to go for the line art straight on the bike as well. Uh, there's not much uh, I want to say about this part of the process. You can see this in, in many videos. Uh, I just really draw over the lines that I already established before. And I just try to make sure that shadow lines are a bit thicker. In interior and detail lines are a little bit thinner. It's the typical line art uh, process that you can see in my other videos. I'm just going to put on some music and put this on super speed and cut a little bit through it so you guys still see some of the evolution of, of the line art, not that it jumps immediately to a bike that is uh, ready and done. And before I call it quits for the line art of the bike, I just quickly wanted to mention that uh, I noticed that my front wheel is a little bit small. I mean, I do think that my back wheel could have been also bigger. This was, I, I think I took a small break and that's when I noticed it. And as I was continuing with my lines and I looked at my references, I saw that like, oh yeah, my, my wheels are a little bit small. So I decided to quickly jump in there and uh, fix up uh, that wheel. It, it often happens that I am too lazy and I just hope that uh, people won't realize and that is not a good habit. So I am trying to, to get out of it because this, at the end of the video, you will see that there's a bunch of bad habits that uh, throughout the years I apparently uh, learned and I need to unlearn them. After I was uh, done with the bike, back to the frog, which actually already the line art on the frog was uh, pretty neat and crisp, but since I was doing everything else with the Hudson Rio design brushes. Oh my God, you would think that, that he's sponsoring me or something, but no, <laughs> I just really like these brushes. Anyways, uh, so I just had to redo uh, Mr. Frog. And then here I was uh, not fooling around anymore. I just decided to finish all the, and you can see I drew the legs behind uh, the bike as well. And that I'm going to um, mask out later on. But something that I learned from myself, and I don't do this mistake that often, so I'm, I'm a little bit proud here, is that if something is obstructing my character, I tended to like, oh, then I don't need to draw it. But then something was off in the proportions, or you just saw that, okay, this is not fitting properly. And I just uh, got myself used to, no, I trained myself. I trained myself to not do that and to just fully draw out, especially when I'm doing digital stuff, just fully draw out the character or whatever I'm drawing and then just erase the parts or in this case, mask the parts that I don't need anymore. And I do think you really get uh, better uh, results like this. And then I continued with the drawing of the cat. And as I said, because I'm really not that familiar with drawing cute type animal stuff, I really leaned a lot of uh, inspiration from other artists, cats that I found, it, I just Googled them. So in this case, I can't give, um, sadly, re references, or I, I can't give credit to the artist that, that inspired me, but I am going to put the, the three pictures of the cats in the video so you can see uh, what inspired me to, to draw this cat. And then this is this is where the, the, the trouble starts with uh, <laughs> the background. Uh, it will it will go very bad. Not at this part, just because I, I like line art. So the same thing, I actually did uh, an underlayer, like a still a sketchy. I was just ideating like what it could look like. 
and I actually like it. It, it. It's good. But something happened in my brain later on where I just forgot how to draw, forgot how to color, paint, everything. And it was, it was just a bad, bad, horrible, no good day. So after I was done with the underlay, I took my uh, line uh, brush as well and then just crisped everything up a little bit, if crisping up is a word. Once I was done with that part of the line work, I took everything into Photoshop. Uh, just because in Photoshop I have a couple of actions that make it very easy to uh, separate elements and to fill in uh, my uh, characters or drawings or things that I want to fill in. And then I just need to do a little bit of cleaning up. And once I had this, I started the coloring. So for the coloring, I took the, one of the images from uh, my ref folder, namely one of Alarico. I do not know their real names, so you can find them as Alarico, and you saw their names in my ref folder. I used uh, the library tick trick to import uh, the colors from their painting into uh, swatches. I didn't really know how to apply them. I, I started applying them. Now, looking back, it is not as bad as I remembered, but just I had something in mind and it was just not coming out and looking at uh, the visuals, at least the inspiration pictures, I was getting more and more frustrated because for some reason in my head, it was supposed to look like that, just, just my drawing. And of course, I don't do illustration. I, I like to do concept sketches. I only focus usually on, on vehicles, robots, stuff like that. And I don't put them into environments, or at least when I sketch, I, I can put them into environments, but I never do like a full illustration. So I was just getting more and more frustrated that I, I didn't get the results that I wanted. So I was jumping in between, okay, let me, let me do the frog, let me do some shading on the frog, let me do a little bit on the bike, and uh, let me uh, use this uh, sort of uh, multicolor texture brush that I have, because I see that they use something diff similar as well, just to add some texture to, to my surfaces, and it, nothing worked. And if you want to see how nothing worked in uh, real time, or if you want to sift through my Photoshop file to see exactly what layers I messed up and how, take a look at my Patreon page where I will be uploading the unedited full video later this week, which is going to be probably at two times speed because it took me a lot of time to get there so I can't do full time. Anyway, you can also find previous videos and exclusive Patreon content there. Now looking back today uh, to yesterday, I was surprised that I just, I didn't try even to like do something because usually what I do like, okay, pause everything. Let me just do one thing that I like and I'm good at. Like for example, it would have been the bike because I am good at rendering objects when it's not, uh, in a setting like this illustration. So on itself, I could easily render the bike using the, the color information from the, the image I had, but I, I don't know, my, my mind was really not working. Anyways, this is why the video came out today for people who were wondering and, and not on, on Monday, because I thought, first of all, silly me, I forgot that illustration takes work. <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to doing sketches and, and I'm just not used to, I haven't, done illustrations like this in a long, long time, which also like I, I am going to make a list for myself for things that I, I need to do is really get back into uh, doing studies, color studies, uh, color studies of other artists, stuff like that. So this was a nice uh, Robert wake up call that I got a little bit too comfortable. And that's also why I'm leaving this part in here and I'm rambling on and on because, yeah, I, I just want to call myself out. I want you guys to see that, uh, yeah, I I make a whole bunch of mistakes. And I know that you guys know that if, if you watch my, my live streams. But for people who don't watch my live streams, everybody makes mistakes. And I'm, I'm quite prone to making mistakes. And usually I don't want to upload the stuff that I make that I don't think is good or I think is full of mistakes. So I, I really just didn't... I didn't want to, I didn't know what to do with this video. I was very angry. So I just decided to stop yesterday and just see what I do today because I already wasted way too much time on this. So that's why uh, today we're doing the, the this live voiceover instead of me scripting it nicely out. With frustration done, I paused all the stuff, uh, the work I did yesterday because 
I, I tried all sorts of tricks, coloring, making it warmer, colder. It, it just didn't work for me. So today, well, this morning, I started up again and I did exactly the, what I say that uh, I'm, I'm good and comfortable with. Just jumped on the bike, uh, do, the, do the coloring for the, for the bike because I know that I'm, I'm okay there. I, I can do that. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, then uh, touch up maybe a little bit of the coloring of the frog because I did that yesterday, just make it a bit simpler. I, I wanted to do some extra things there that didn't need it to be done. And then I just use the technique that I uh, use every now and then, which is take the image, uh, like where I want the color information one from, and I just blur it. Uh, sometimes I blur it a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. Uh, and just that way I am not as influenced by the image as looking by it directly, but I can pick colors that I sort of like. And I, and I wanted a picture with like strong uh, light and color information. I don't know how I did. It is definitely simpler than what I was trying to do yesterday. I think like today I was also just more comfortable with like, hey, this is my level. Let's not try and achieve something of illustration level that I'm just not I'm not familiar with it as, as much and just be okay with like okay then I just have to do more uh, studies and uh, not just think that I can make uh, everything and with that we have come to the end of the video we have learned that if we do not practice something we get worse at it we also learned that I have to do more color studies so prepare for more of those in the live streams and we learned that it is okay to take a break and come back to your drawing next day because you won't feel as horrible about it with a clear mind. How did you like this video? Did you learn anything new? Do you have questions or remarks? Well, leave them in the comments section down below and I'll make sure to respond ASAP. Once again, if you want to see uh, everything at a much lower speed and also want to take a look at the PSD file for this image, take a look at my Patreon and there are also other useful links in the description down below. But the most important thing is that you folks have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye bye!